there are 19 seasons of hell's kitchen and after all viewers and contestants know what they're getting into by now contestants might even feel pretty confident the taste of their food is next level yet ramsey's palate and not to mention his knack for totally eviscerating contestants self-esteem is simply legendary on rare occasions ramsey does toss an unexpected compliment in someone's way however the dishes on our list today could not have received a more opposite reaction in this video we will be looking at the top eight worst food plates from hell's kitchen let's begin with today's video number eight dungeness crab and corn risotto risotto can be a challenging dish to make even when gordon ramsay isn't waiting to rip it apart it requires patience and precision to get the consistency just right several moving parts to a kitchen get pretty wild when a restaurant runs full force during a lunch or dinner rush one of those parts the garde manger is the kitchen area that cranks out charcuterie boards salads and other dishes that don't require any cooking one contestant jen tried to offer chef ramsay the corn risotto a dungeness crab and a lobster tail dish which required a lot of cooking however jen was immediately crushed by ramsay who complained the whole thing tasted as if it had come out of the garde manger station it wasn't cooked he told jen that the rice is raw telling her simply you can't cook and that's not something you want to hear on a show that requires you to do nothing but cook Jen said of Ramsey's brutal opinion, there's a difference between constructive criticism and someone just being a butthead. Ramsey doesn't mind being a butthead. Number seven, chicken and blackberries. When showing off your resume to a chef so they can get an idea of how much experience you have, admitting the only expertise you have lies in buffet style dining can only cause them to wince. Well, that's precisely the reaction Ramsey had when realizing contestant Lacey worked in buffet-style corporate dining before she offered him a taste of her chicken and blackberries. When putting the first forkful of the purple-glazed poultry into his mouth, Gordon Ramsay straight up spit it out and said, that's definitely corporate. You serve, they eat. This statement implied that Lacey could care less about the flavor of her food. Lacey stood confidently while Ramsey insulted her dish. Lacey didn't even bat an eye when he ended her critique with his assumption that after a patrons eat, they vomit. Number six, sausage gravy and biscuit. When you think of diners, you don't necessarily think of fine luxury dining. However, this doesn't take away from the significance of satisfaction of them as well. But when you're faced with a Michelin rated chef having more than just diner experience, you must want to impress them. Contestant Louie, who had roughly 25 years of diner cooking experience, succumbed to the wrath of Chef Ramsay, who made it clear the biscuits and gravy Louie was slinging just didn't cut it on Hell's Kitchen. Moreover, even before Gordon Ramsay took a bite, Louie told him that he sold about five gallons of his sausage gravy a week. Ramsay was quick to respond to that by asking, what, you sell it to pigs? Louie, the contestant, confident in his dish, watched Ramsay take a bite, chew a few times, and then spit it out into the trash. When Louie asked the chef why he didn't like it, Ramsay straight up replied, it tastes like gunk. Number five, creamy chicken Kiev. When sous chef Jamie approached chef Ramsay with her chicken Kiev, there were visible signs about how confident she was. However, that energy was quickly extinguished once Ramsay started poking around with his knife and fork. Before Chef Ramsay even took a bite, Ramsay used his utensils to check his plate a bit to ensure the texture of Jamie's chicken was up to snuff. Ramsay didn't even bother tasting the dish once his fork hit something hard and inedible, and that's never good. Not only did the contestant's dish look like a total mess, but it turns out that there was an entire toothpick left inside the chicken. A not-so-happy Ramsay was disgusted by the potential life-threatening error. Jamie didn't even try to cover her tracks. She admitted to the blunder and walked away, feeling a level of embarrassment. Number four, Mardi Gras gumbo. When cook Antonia came up to Ramsay with a bowl of her Mardi Gras gumbo, she was prepared for the host to celebrate the flavors to party inside Ramsay's mouth. However, the party Ramsay was invited to was not the grand party the name Antonia implied. Ramsay's reaction to the dish could not have been worse. He instead asked if it usually looked like a plate of liquid human waste. 
but he still took a bite and his reaction was gagging and spitting it out into the trash. Ramsey invited several of the other contestants to taste it to make Antonia feel even worse about her dish and they each had the same response. And so needless to say, Antonia walked away feeling like she was in the wrong line of work. Number three, chicken fried ribeye. Just because you work in a kitchen doesn't always mean you can oversee every station like a pro. The person who runs the garde manger station probably shouldn't dabble in dessert making without some training first. And ignoring this advice, pastry chef Carrie stepped out of her comfort zone at the wrong time into the world of savory dishes to wow Ramsay with a chicken fried ribeye over Yukon Gold mashed potatoes. However, she added an ingredient that threw this Michelin man off his guard, and that was sugar. Yes, you heard that right, she mixed sugar into her mashed potatoes. When Carrie told Ramsay this, he looked at her as if she had just grown four other heads, as did many of the other contestants standing in the lineup behind her. Ramsay finally replied to a confident Carrie by saying, that is disgusting, and spit out the sugary, starchy glop. Number two, lamb schnitzel. Everyone shows up to Hell's Kitchen with something to prove, and sous chef Tiffany arrived to prove that she wasn't just some ditzy blonde who landed a television gig out of luck. She was confident in her ability to become a professional in the culinary landscape, cooking lamb schnitzel with a rosemary-infused maple gloss to flex her mealtime muscles. No one wants you to compare the texture of your food to a wet diaper, and that's exactly what Ramsay said about Tiffany's lamb dish. He asked her to poke it with her finger right before making the disgusting comparison. The actual lamb was correctly cooked, but Tiffany made a big mistake by completely dredging the cut of meat in the thick maple gloss and making it soggy. Number 1. Cedar Plank Roasted Salmon An executive chef named Chris attempted to impress Ramsay with a cut of salmon served on a cedar plank, hoping that Ramsay would give props to the unique presentation. But Chris had a thing or two to learn about Ramsay's preference for fish. The exchange between the two immediately started with Ramsay calling Chris a plank, which Ramsay explained meant idiot. The host lifted the salmon and asked why the bottom of it was raw. The contestant then explained he cooked the fish how he would enjoy it, medium rare. Not only did Ramsay find the temperature of the fish unsatisfactory, but he pointed out to the executive chef that nearly the whole cut was raw. Chris bravely told Ramsay, I don't agree, chef. And Ramsay looked Chris in the eyes and instructed the plank to get back in line. Well guys, that's all we have for you today. Which one of these eight food plates from Hell's Kitchen do you think is the worst? Let us know in the comments section down below what you think about today's video. If you liked this video and found it informative, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos like these, then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a new video. Thanks for watching guys. We hope you have a great day today and we'll see you in the next video.